ladies, welcome to my channel. My name is Heather Anderson of So Heather. So I'm super excited about today's video. I'm doing a makeup tutorial, just like a beautiful, simple, fresh spring makeup tutorial. And I'm also sharing 10 makeup tricks that are guaranteed to make you look younger. So I am, you know, make sure that you listen to this entire video because actually I'm gonna be sharing a bonus tip at the very end, that is actually my favorite tip and one that I'm just really excited to share with all of you because I think it will really help y'all out. So if you haven't already, if you would please subscribe to my channel by hitting that little subscribe button down below. I do publish two new videos every single week. So also hit that bell notification so that you're sure to never miss a video. Okay, let's dive right in. 10 makeup tricks to help you look younger. Okay, these are the 10 makeup tricks to help you look younger. So now that we're all staying at home for the next at least a month, I've been doing my makeup a little bit, you know, maybe not wearing as much. I've been doing it a little bit quicker. So this is just a good fresh look for spring and summer, and it's just like an easy makeup look to do. So, and again, there's gonna be 10 tricks along the way that will help you look younger that I'm going to share. And also the very last bonus tip is actually my favorite one, so make sure you stick around for that. Okay, tip number one is use a good moisturizer because that's gonna help your skin stay, you know, moisturize it's going to look younger because it's just going to be you know super soft and luxurious looking my personal favorite is magic cream by charlotte tilbury this is very luxe it is you know so creamy it goes on so awesome like i just my skin immediately feels better after i put this on plus it's just like a good base for when you put your foundation on so love, love, love this moisturizer. It's actually called Magic Cream. And just know that I'll be linking every item I'm talking about in my description box below. Okay, makeup trick number two to looking younger is always use sunscreen. And actually, sunscreen with a wrinkle defense is even better. So I found this one, Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Cream. This is by Paula's Choice. It is amazing. I absolutely love it. It has antioxidants in it. It has plant seed oils, so it just like really makes your skin feel really smooth. It decreases your pores. Um, it's lightweight, so I just love the way it goes on. And I also love knowing that it has an SPF in it, so it's protecting my face from the sun, which is definitely something that ages us. I always like to put this on my neck as well as um, on my decollete because I don't want my decollete to like look spotty and aged either. I had photo facial done on my chest and face about two years ago. Most of the spots have stayed away, but they have come back just maybe a little bit. But anyways, love this sunscreen by Polish Choice and highly recommend it. So that, that was tip number two to looking younger. Now makeup trick number three is always use a primer. So my favorite primer is by Smashbox. The reason is number one, primer shrinks your pores. It just helps your foundation go on better. You know, it just gives my, my skin this feeling of just like, I don't know, it just feels like slicker and smoother and almost like mattified. So I'm t oily in the T-zone, so this really helps me with that. So love, love this primer. It will also help your makeup stay on like literally all day long. Um, so love, love, love this. Okay, then the next makeup trick to looking younger is do your eyeshadow first before you do your foundation. So that is my next step in my, this makeup tutorial. The reason is, because when you have, if you do your eyeshadow after your foundation, it's just gonna fall down, or mine does a lot of times, and then I have to wipe it off, and then it always ends up leaving like this dark circle under my eye, so definitely that's why I think you should do your, your eyeshadow first. So before I do my eyeshadow, I use uh, concealer as an eye primer, so I'm just gonna put this on the top of my eyelids, because it's just gonna help my, my eyeshadow stay on better. This is by NARS, I love this concealer. I'm also gonna use it under my eyes later on in this video, but it's so good. It goes on smooth, it has a lot of good coverage, but it doesn't feel like thick and cakey. 
And then also I have a scar on my forehead that I'm gonna go ahead and just touch up a little bit. I had a car accident when I was, I think I was like 20. Anyway, so I always like to cover this up a bit. Okay, so now, like I said, gonna do my eyeshadow first. So the palette I wanna use is so springy. It's so beautiful. It's by Charlotte Tilbury. It has four colors in it. A really light shimmery pink, almost a pearly white, and then just sort of a medium pink, darker purple, and then a gray. And I'm not gonna put much on because like I said, this is just like an easy um, tutorial that I've been doing since I've been staying at home. So I haven't been you know, wearing as much makeup as normal. So I'm gonna use the lighter color all over kind of like a shadow base. And one of the makeup um, number five makeup trick to look younger is put a lot of this lighter color on the inner corners of your eyes because it's really gonna make your eyes op look more open, look more, you know, look bigger, look wider. And of course, it's gonna make you look younger because the bigger and brighter your eyes look, the younger you will look. So I just kind of put that all over. And I always use a different brush for my light colors and my dark colors because if I mix them, then the light colors are never light enough. Then I'm gonna take my dark, this other um, eyeshadow brush, dip it in this medium pink. And I'm just gonna kind of put this on the lid as well as the crease. So this is kind of, like I said, a medium rose pink. It has a bit of shimmer, but not too much. I'm gonna do the other eye. I think the key to wearing eyeshadow is just making sure you blend it really well. You know, and like I said, you really don't need a ton right now since we're like all staying at home. But I also think that during spring and summer, your makeup just needs to be a little bit lighter and fresher and not, not so much, like less is more. And also the older, the older I get, I feel like, Whenever I get compliments on my makeup, it's always when I have less makeup on. So I'm learning to wear less makeup. So now I'm gonna dip it back into the light and just kind of blend that out and always really concentrating underneath the brow bone. And like I said, the inner corners of the eyes. Then, um, let's see, number six. Okay, I'm gonna get to number six in a second, but now, I'm gonna just dip it in this dark gray and just put a little bit around the corners and the corners of my eyes, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna just take my finger and kind of blend it in because I really don't want a lot. I just want it on the corners. You could also use the purple shade for that too. So I'm not gonna really use eyeliner, but I am gonna use eyeliner on the inner rims of my eyes. So I'm gonna take this black This is Black Eyeliner by Charlotte Tilbury. It's a rock, it's called, I think it's called Rock and Roll, but I put it on the underneath, the inner rim, underneath my lash line, because it's just gonna really make your eyes stand out. And I, you know, I move it back and forth like a windshield wiper and just sort of do it all the way around. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit of this purple in the corners and just kind of blend it in a little bit, moving the darker brush back and forth, kind of like a windshield wiper. Now I'm going to use a primer on my eyelashes. This is by Dior, this is so good. If you don't already use a primer, actually I forgot to do one thing, and this really does make a big difference, is curl your eyelashes. It's gonna make your eyes look brighter and wider and bigger. It's also gonna just open up the eye, which obviously makes you look younger too. This is by Kevin Acoin. I swear by this eyelash curler. I've had it for so long and I absolutely love it. Okay, so back to the eyelash primer. I always prime my lashes because I found that my mascara goes on better. My lashes look fuller, they look thicker. And I just love, I just think it makes the biggest difference, honestly. Then my favorite mascara, Hypnose by Lancome. Y'all, this is so good. I've used it for years. I put on at least three coats, especially since I'm not wearing much eyeliner, just underneath. Um, I like to wear a lot of mascara. And then, you know, I can see already that even, you know, some of this eyeshadow has fallen down below my eyes. So I'm gonna wipe that off here in a second. 
but I usually do two to three coats of mascara. I just think it, you know, makes a big difference. And then I always let the first coat dry for a couple seconds before I add the second coat. And same with, you know, if I decide to do three coats. But this mascara is so good. It will literally make your lashes look crazy long, crazy thick, and crazy full. <laughs> it's seriously so good. You can kind of see the difference. There's This one has two coats. This one only has one coat. You can already tell a big difference. And I really only put one coat on the bottom and then two to three on the top. I know there's tons of mascaras out there. I've honestly tried so many and I always, always come back to this one because it is seriously the best. Okay, this brings us to my foundation. So this foundation that I absolutely love is by Charlotte Tilbury. It's called the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. It works really well over the magic <clears throat> cream I used earlier. So that's why I love pairing these two together. This is gonna give you a lot of coverage, but if you only use a little bit, it's not gonna look cakey or like too much. And so I just put, put it a little bit on the back of my hand and then I'm gonna grab a flat brush and just sort of brush it over my skin. And then I always put a little bit more on the forehead since I have that scar up there. But this is a really beautiful foundation. It leaves your skin glowy, dewy, you know, like I said, enough coverage to cover up any dark spots or, you know, anything that you might want to cover. It's just so good. And it doesn't feel cakey. It doesn't feel, you know, heavy. So I think it also does a good job of making us look younger. And I take my beauty blender and I'm just going to kind of blend it out. Y'all, beauty blenders are so good. I, I didn't start using a beauty blender until about a year ago. And it honestly makes the biggest difference. It doesn't leave any lines. It blends beautifully, like it's seriously so good. Okay, the tip number six, makeup trick number six to look younger is to apply concealer underneath your eyes, really focusing on the inner corners right here, okay? Because that's where a lot of us have our darkest circles, at least I do, on the inner corners. And then I always put it here because I'm a little red right here. I like to put it down my nose and then even here, kind of like the places where I put the highlighter. Um, again, this is by NARS. I love it. I'll link it for y'all below. And don't forget, everything I've been using will be linked in the description box below. Then I just take my beauty blender and I just sort of blend it out. But the reason putting concealer underneath your eyes is going to make us look younger is because, you know, when you have this light part underneath the eye, it's just going to bring the eyes out. It's going to brighten the eyes. It's going to make them look bigger, brighter, and make you look younger. So as you can see, this is a beautiful coverage. It's not too much, but it's definitely enough to hide any, you know, the scar. You can't see it at all. You know, I have some sunspots right here. They're pretty much pretty well hidden now. Okay, tip, now I'm gonna take, this is a fabulous palette I got from Charlotte Tilbury um, at Nordstrom. It has a bronzer, cheek colors, highlighter, and then eyes. So you, I didn't use these for my eyes, but you certainly can. If you're in a big hurry, you can just use like the bronzer or this color for the, you know, the crease, and then put this light color on the inner corners like I talked about. So tip number seven, makeup trick number seven to look younger is to contour in the shape of a three. So that means a three like this, okay? And I like to concentrate really underneath my cheekbone. That's just gonna really contour your cheeks, uh, contour your face. It's gonna give you that chiseled look that's gonna make us look younger and also thinner and also just like really accentuate your cheekbones. And then I always like to put bronzer on my neck because our neck is never as tan as our faces. But um, you just remember to do it in a three and always concentrate on the jawline too because that's just gonna really accentuate 
your jawline, and then again under the cheekbone. And if you put bronzer up here too on your forehead, it's gonna give the illusion of a, of a smaller forehead. I think I kind of have a big forehead, so for, so for me, that works really well. And then I always like to take a smaller brush. Actually, sometimes my um, the same brush I used for my lighter colors on my eyeshadow, and I use this highlighter. So I'm just gonna dip it in here. And I always just kind of, you know, put a little bit of highlighter above the cheekbone right here. You know, I think highlighter is just so beautiful. It gives that touch of light shimmer to our faces, making us look more youthful. I put it down the bridge of my nose, and then I always put a little bit right here too. So pretty. So love this palette because it just makes putting your makeup on so easy. So now I'm gonna use the blush. I'm gonna just kind of mix these two colors and then I'm just gonna put this on the apples of my cheeks. So again, like super easy. This would also be really good to travel with because it's like everything is right here. Okay, tip number eight. The next step I'm gonna do is set my concealer with powder and tip number eight is only putting powder on where you need it because if you put too much powder on, you can end up looking cakey and when you have a lot of makeup on and it looks cakey, it does not make you look younger. So only putting powder on where you need it will make you look younger. So for me, underneath the eyes to set the concealer, this is Laura Mercier's Loose Powder. It is the absolute best powder. In the middle of the forehead and a little bit on the chin, and that's it. Because I'm oily in the T-zone, I'm not really oily over here, so I really don't need any powder over here. Okay, so highly recommend this, this Laura Mercier loose powder. It's amazing. It goes on flawlessly. It just really sets the concealer. It gives you that beautiful, you know, mattified look. Okay, and tip number nine is to always fill in your brows. So this makes the biggest difference. My favorite brow pencil is by Tom Ford. And I first start by brushing up my brows and then I'm gonna fill them in. This actually comes with a refill, so this will probably last you at least a year because, it, like I said, it comes with a refill. So I'm gonna look in this mirror over here because I can't really see, but I just kind of fill them in. This color is called taupe. It's really good for blondes, and I always bring, bring it down to the end. If you drew a line from your nose here, that's where your eyebrows need to stop and then I just make a dot there and then just fill it in. And don't be afraid to like really get after your eyebrows and fill them in because if they're too dark, you can always use the brush and brush them up and, and it makes them a little bit lighter and look a little bit more natural. So you can kind of tell the difference between this one and this one. Like this one's filled in, this one's not. I think you can tell a big difference. It's just gonna make us look younger because it's gonna really outline the shape of our eye. Also bring our eye up if, we, if we're really good about bringing this arch up right here. You know, and as we age, our eyebrows get thinner. So it's important to fill them in. I know that mine have definitely gotten thinner and it's very annoying. <laughs> you know, you can, you can measure that space between your nose and the end and do the dot. But once you do it a billion times, then you'll, you'll probably not need to do it anymore. So sometimes I put the dot there and sometimes I don't. And if you're not sure like, oh, I don't know, you know, how my eyebrows, if you've never had your eyebrows shaped, then I would do that first, and then you can just kind of fill in where they where they have kind of showed you. One of my favorite places to do that is Benefit. I love the, the Benefit brow bar. So if you have a Benefit near your house, that would be a good place to do it. Um, I've had my eyebrows shaped there before, and they do a phenomenal job. Okay, tip number 10 to looking younger is choose a darker color lip shade. Like for spring, I like like pinks, like a medium tone pink. And for 
summer, uh, I like same, same shade, but for fall and winter, I like berries and burgundy. So right now we're gonna do a medium shade pink. The reason this is gonna make you look younger is if you choose a nude color, it just kind of washes you out. I think at least it washes me out. So if I choose a medium pink to a darker pink, it's gonna make my teeth look whiter. And that is why I like to wear darker lipstick. So I'm gonna start with using some lip liner. Uh, this is so good. This is, this is MAC and the color is called red, even though it's not red at all. In fact, I think it's called almost red. But I think lining your lips, number one, makes the color stay on better. Number two, it's just gonna make your lips look bigger too and look more defined. So again, this is a great light pink. It's not actually, it's a medium pink. It's by MAC, it's called Hey Frenchie. I love, love this color. It's just like the perfect, medium pink it's not too dark not too light and definitely makes my teeth look whiter if it were nude however it would not so that's why i say this is a makeup trick that will make you look younger is wearing dark you know medium to darker shade lipstick then i top it with a lip stain because this is going to make your lipstick literally stay on all day this is by nars this is a really pretty pink it's kind of like i said a medium beautiful pink shade I love it for spring and summer. I will link this exact color below. It's called Walk This Way. Then the last step that I do is to add a little bit of gloss. Um, I love Charlotte Tilbury's gloss. It's phenomenal. It goes on really well. This is a light, a light, beautiful color. It's kind of, this would match really any lip color. And I just put on the middle center of your lip. That's it. The reason I don't, put it all over my lips is because it would make my lipstick come off. And when you just dab it in the center of your lip, it's gonna just make your lips look a little bit fuller and more voluptuous like we all want. Okay, those were the 10 makeup tricks. I have one left, so stay tuned. This is the bonus trick and the one that I'm most excited about, so stay tuned. Okay, the bonus tip that I've been dying to share with all of you is put on your makeup in the best light possible. And the way to get the best light possible is by using this super cool makeup mirror. It has the coolest lighting capabilities. It actually has three settings. You can turn it up three times and the light is so bright that you can literally see everything. And the reason this is going to help you look younger is because you're just going to like notice every you know, little thing on your face and you're gonna be able to touch up the areas that really need to be touched up because as we age, our eyesight definitely gets worse. I know mine is. So this mirror has made the biggest difference because of the lighting, but also it has these really cool features. So it has this magnetic thing that you can stick on it and you can actually put your phone on it, either horizontal or vertical. That's how I made this YouTube video. I used this little attachment with my phone here and I did my makeup. So maybe you have an Instagram account. Maybe you just wanna make a fun video and send to one of your best friends or send to your sister or something like that. But it's super cool because you can, you know, tape yourself doing your makeup. And another great thing about this mirror is it actually comes with a magnifying mirror that you can stick on to this bigger mirror and it really amplifies what you see. So if your eyesight is really bad, you know, you can definitely have the magnifying um, mirror stuck on to this bigger mirror. For me personally, I always just use the bigger mirror and I put it on this stand on my makeup counter and I just, you know, turn the lights on and it is fantastic. When I travel, you know, I don't travel with it, although they, although they do make a travel size one of these, so I'll be sure and link both of them down below. But I, I miss it so much and I can't ever do my makeup as good as when I'm looking in this fabulous makeup mirror because it has this amazing lighting that literally makes all the difference in the world. And I'm so excited that Nordstrom is now carrying this phenomenal makeup mirror. I got this for my daughter for Christmas. It's a great gift, like you definitely need one. This is just, I love, love, love this make, makeup mirror. So highly recommend it. All right, those were the 10 tips plus the bonus, bonus tips. 
to help you look younger. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would give it a thumbs up and also comment and let me know like what was your favorite makeup trick? Like what is the one trick you're dying to try when you wake up in the morning or when you do your makeup later on today? So for more style information, you can have a head over head over to SoHeather.com. And on Instagram, I'm SoHeatherBlog. So thank you again so much for stopping by today. Everybody stay healthy and stay safe. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.